Hi there. My name is Jess and welcome to my channel, I guess. <laughs> it feels so weird to say that. I never thought I would, but I um, recently have gone through a couple changes in my life and the biggest one being that my best friend moved away and it's been tough. And it made me realize that I don't have a lot of other friends. I have my boyfriend and then my family. And I do have other friends obviously, but none that live in the area. They all have families, so they're busy and it just, you know, time slips away from us as it does with everybody. But I, I don't know. I wanted to take myself out of my box that I've definitely put myself in, but, and see if I could like reach out to people who like similar stuff to me and maybe want to talk about it and chat about it. Um, like I said, I've, I've gone through a couple things in the last like couple years and um, one of those being having weight loss surgery, which has been like such a big change for me. And it would be great to find like, a, you know, people who are going through similar stuff. And um, I am in no way like an expert on it. It's It's been like almost two years since I had my surgery, but I, um, you know, I've kind of like come out the other side, if you will, I guess. And um, I could at least like share like my experience with it. I've been very lucky um, with mine, but I feel like it's always nice to have someone to at least like share stuff with, um, you know, especially with something like that, something so like life-changing, I guess. But um, yeah, uh, but on the lighter side, like I said, I just want to find, um, people who like similar stuff and like want to talk about similar stuff. Um, I'm really, really into makeup and books, movies, TV, and um, I just don't have a lot of people to talk to that stuff about. So, or talk, you know, anyone to talk with about it. So um, another big one for me is true crime. And I know that's like really been a thing. I've been into it for such a long time. Uh, saying into it sounds bad, but um, it's fascinated me for such a long time because I just don't understand how, like how people could do that to each other, especially some of these crazy, really intense stories you read about like family members to family members and you're just like, what? Anyway, but I, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd start this channel fully expecting no one to want to watch it, which is totally fine but I wanted to at least give it a try. You know, just put myself out there and and do it. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, like I mentioned, like the few things about me that I'll probably bring up on this channel, it still feels weird to say, but, um, and, and hopefully like there are people out there that find this interesting and, and want to like chat and talk about stuff and I don't know, just generally commiserate about nothing really, but everything at the same time. So we'll see how this goes. So I figured to like introduce for my first video, like I wasn't really sure what to do. You know, I, like I said, like, you know, I have these kind of few random interests and recently I've gotten very into the like kind of mashup that is like beauty and true crime. And I, I do really enjoy watching those types of videos. Um, and so I like hopefully would, can do that at some point. Like I just would love to like talk through some of these things that like are on my mind and that I think about. And again, like I don't have anyone to talk to. Like I really don't have anyone in my life that is, um, finds it as fascinating as I do. And like my poor boyfriend will listen to me, but, um, and you know, we'll, we'll discuss and stuff, but uh, I could really get into like, you know, just why, you know, anyway. But I thought for maybe my first video, so it wasn't just me rambling on about me, cause that's boring. Um, I would do a little haul. I um, went shopping a few days ago and I got a, just a couple things, um, but within the last like month, ish I've gotten quite a few like random things mostly like beauty well pretty much all beauty related products but I thought we could talk about them and um that way you can kind of see a little bit of like the things I enjoy or like or you know um I do have a couple things that aren't makeup so we'll start there and there are a couple of the newest 
things I've purchased. So um, I was at Barnes and Noble over the weekend and uh, my first purchase was Mindhunter, which um, this is the novel, well, it's not, a, it's a um, nonfiction book that the series was inspired by and it's written by um, the FBI's, the person in the FBI who basically created like the behavioral analysis unit if you watch Criminal Minds. Um, and again, like true crime. So um, I've, as you can see, I've started it and so, so far so good, um, but I haven't gotten too into it yet. And then the second and last book I picked up at Barnes and Noble was Murder Your Employer, which, you know, again, murder just, just gets me. Um, but, uh, I saw this randomly online somewhere and I just thought the cover was so gorgeous. And then it has this beautiful map on the inside, which like these always get me because like just how beautiful. And I love to be able to reference back to something when you're, um, talking about like places specifically and everything. So, um, this sounds like it's going to be really good and right up my alley. So I'm excited to, to give that one a, a read. Um, the next things I picked up. Um, I went to Sephora in that same trip because there's one right next to that Barnes and Noble. So of course, like I'm gonna go to Sephora. You can't put one right next to that and not expect me to go. Um, but the first thing I picked up, as I mentioned, I got these a couple of days ago, so I've definitely used them. I'm actually wearing some of this one today mixed with something else. And you'll have to forgive my makeup too. Like I've had this on at, at this point for um, like, 12 hours because <laughs> I woke up before work and put this on and I just didn't really do much with it um, once I started filming this, which now thinking back seems silly, but whatever. Um, so this is the uh, Rare Beauty. It's their like liquid blushes. I don't have the full name for it. I should have looked that up, um, but this is in the shade Hope and this is just this like gorgeous kind of like light pink rosy shade and it's beautiful. And um, so far I really liked it. I really like this formula. I have another uh, shade in that same formula and it's fabulous. Um, next thing I picked up is, I'm actually wearing all three of these products <laughs> today, which kind of makes sense since they're brand new to me, I would want to wear them. Um, I got the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Sesame. And this is what I have on my lips and it's beautiful. Again, it's just kind of a muted mauve shade, um, but it's like nice and sheer. I uh, I feel like my lips look weird with like deep or vibrant, dark, whatever, like anything bold, anything opaque color. I just feel like my lip line is weird. So um, typically when I get these like deeper shades for my skin tone, I um, we'll get like some kind of like sheer formula for them. And so I, so far I really been like that. It's really comfortable as well. So that's always a plus. And the last thing I got when I was at Sephora um, a couple of days ago was this um, Ami Cole. I might not be pronouncing that correctly, uh, but it's the light catching highlighter in the shade Glaze. And this is just kind of this like beautiful, like golden, but it's basically like, sheer it's 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 um it is just like a glaze like it comes off almost just like a like a, a sheer glow from within it's really nice so if i've been liking it i'm wearing it today but again i've uh, been wearing this makeup for a long time so i definitely think this has faded which to be honest after 12 hours of wear i would kind of expect um but yeah so that's what i got over the, over like the last couple days um but moving on to what i've got like over the last like month or so um i have a problem y'all um it's a thing but you know what are you gonna do you know these companies keep putting out cute stuff and i'm gonna get it <laughs> um but speaking of cute stuff the first thing that i have is some of the Alice in Wonderland collection from ColourPop. Um, Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite books and I love it. Um, and I, I have like multiple copies. And so like anytime there's like a collab with it, I wanna get it from something, unless it's like something I really don't think I'll use cause I do use these products. But um, the first thing I got was the um, pressed powder blush in the shade Oh Dear, which is just this like really kind of pink basic pink shade, um, but it's really nice, really pretty. I like I like their blushes, they're really nice. Again, it was mostly <laughs> mostly because it's this collaboration and I wanted like for the packaging, but um, I do I do really like that blush, it's, it is nice. 
Um, so moving on to things that I've purchased within the last month or so, not just in the last couple of days. But um, so I am a sucker for a lot of collabs and especially if um, someone does like an Alice in Wonderland collaboration, I will buy something. And I bought some from the ColourPop collection when that came out earlier this year. And so as soon as I saw this Wet n Wild one, I was like, I'm getting something. Um, I just always love all the packaging. I just think it's so cute. Um, don't get me wrong, if there's something I don't necessarily love, like I won't get it, but um, you know, I have to, again, at least get something. So I got a few things from that collection. I got the um, Talk to the Flowers blush palette and the Tea Anyone bronzer palette. And these have actually been super nice. I really like both and they last like all day. Again, like I'll normally get ready like you know, 7 a.m. and I'm normally taking my makeup off like 12 hours later and I still see it like when I'm getting into the shower, like before I take off my makeup, like I, they last and they're, they're really nice and they're huge. Like, so they're gonna last you like a long time. I don't know if you can tell by the size of my head, but you know, just in case. Um, next thing I got was a little hand mirror with the Cheshire Cat cause it's so cute. And I'll normally use this um, if I need to get like up close and personal with like my eye or something um, while I'm getting ready. Also, I'll keep that at my vanity. And then the last thing I got from that collection uh, was the brush set, which I've clearly used. And I actually do really like these. Wet n Wild has some really nice brushes. Um, and as soon as I saw these, um, I believe this set was like a little bit pricier, or at least I feel like it was for Wet n Wild. But again, collaboration, maybe that's why, but I do think they're worth it. They're really nice. Um, and they have really lovely, like detailing little pictures on the side. Um, and I love like the um, Disney Alice in Wonderland, which is what this is based on. And I love the animation in that. So it's great. So you get two face brushes, two eye brushes, and I've used all of these and they're all really nice. So that is, was definitely a win. I love when something's cute and you just like it. And then it also turns out to be good because some products you're like, that's nice, but it's mostly for the packaging or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, anyway, moving on. So um, I'll go through phases where I won't watch like beauty YouTube or makeup reviews, makeup, you know, hauls and stuff like that. Um, and I do really well and I don't buy a lot of makeup. So I try not to. But in the last few months, I've gotten back into watching specifically Emily Noel. Um, I don't know why I, I love watching her. I just find her very like, um, I don't know. She just kind of, obviously she's giving her opinion, but she, she says it how it is. She's not rude. She's, um, she just, you know, gives it straight, which is really nice. And so normally when she likes something, I'll normally like it. Don't get me wrong. There's been a few times where that's not the case, but everyone's different with makeup. So um, what got me on my palette kick because I've purchased a few different palettes was this Italian spritz palette. I saw her talking about it a few months ago when I got back into beauty YouTube and I was just like, well, that's gorgeous. And that just looks like summer and fun. And I feel like I need to have it. And I'm so glad I did. It's such a beautiful palette. There are so many gorgeous shades in here, especially for the, the season that we're in. Um, and it, I've used this quite a few times. It doesn't necessarily look like it. I did dig my finger into this one. So excuse that, but it's just, it's too pretty. And like the only ones I really haven't used are some of these like deeper kind of like shimmer, um, glittery shimmer shades. Um, again, they're like a little bit more intense and deep. And normally when I'm getting ready, I'm going to work. So I go kind of tame very much in the vein of what I did today. Um, but this has been so pretty and I just love it. And it does smell nice. It's not as intense as like some of their other palettes, but it is nice. I think it's supposed to smell like, like spritz, like Aperol spritz or something. Um, the next palette I purchased, uh, well, these technically aren't in order because this is one of the more recent ones because I keep seeing it everywhere on ads and it just looks so pretty. And I finally like clicked on some of them and scrolled through some of the looks and those looked all so pretty. So I was like, okay, I really have to get this. But and I've never purchased anything from this brand, so I really wasn't sure what to expect. But this is uh, the Supreme Mauves palette, um, Artist Couture, Couture. And it's just, again, like a beautiful kind of um, basics with those gorgeous pops of like pinky purples. Oh, it's just so pretty. I haven't gotten a chance to use um, every shade in this. Again, like some of these kind of like deeper, more intense, um, brighter shades like I haven't I just haven't worn yet but 
Um, very nice so far, really like it. Enjoying, and it, well, anyway. Um, the next palette I purchased, because again, I have no chill, uh, was the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped. I, this one happened to be on sale on Ulta. And again, it was one of those I saw Emily Noel talking about. And I just thought it looked really pretty and right at my alley because it's just a lot of neutrals, a lot of gorgeous. I'm gonna show it like this because it has like a weird top. But um, again, just so pretty. And I'm actually wearing this one today. Um, and it's just great for kind of like everyday looks, but then you have these like gorgeous shimmers that you could really build up and like make, you know, really make like a shimmery bolder eye, I feel like. Um, but it's so pretty and I really like it. Um, and I'm also like, I should also say that I am not in any way like a professional makeup artist. I don't know anything about anything when it comes to it. I just really love makeup and I love putting it on. It's like my, the fa my favorite part of the day. And um, there's just something about like doing your routine. It's so nice. And I love talking to other people about makeup. And again, that's one of those things that I talk to my best friend about, but I really don't have a lot of other people to discuss it with. So um, I kind of geek out over this stuff and no one else <laughs> seems to, or at least around me anyway. So, um, and the last eyeshadow palette I purchased, um, is the Visart, Viseart. I say Visart. I don't know if that's right <laughs> or not, but this is the Cashmere palette. And again, like these palettes are just so pretty. Oh, like it's just, it's just too pretty, but I've never owned a Visart palette. Um, my best friend has them and she like has hit pan on like two shades and multiple palettes and um I just hear such good things and so I decided to finally like bite the bullet and get one and I decided to go with this one because um I have a lot of warm warmer toned palettes and so I thought this would be a nice cool tone palette but also again like very neutral very up my alley so I just figured I would go for it. And this is one I, I have worn already, even though this gives me all the fall vibes, um, but I have worn it and it's really nice. Like it's it's very pretty. I can see why these, these shades are worth it. I'm not gonna lie when I first got this cause it was like in plastic and these are a little bit more of an expensive brand and palette specifically. I was like, oh, that seems a little okay. But definitely worth it. Like the shades are so nice. And I do really like the packaging, like it's this really nice, like kind of harder, harder packaging, but um, yeah, that, that's been very, very good. Okay, let's move on to the last couple things before I bore everybody to death. But um, so I, uh, when I was discussing or talking about earlier, my weight loss surgery, um, as some people may know, some not, like you ha can have hair loss and hair changes with um, ex like very quick weight loss. Um, your body kind of goes into a shock with its hormones and you ultimately can lose hair. I was very lucky that I I did have hair loss, but it was minimal compared to some that I've, I've seen photos of online. And so um, since then I've been on kind of this like hair journey and trying to find like new products and stuff that'll work. And I just, I also like heat style my hair. So I really treat it like crap. But um, one of the things I've been trying to do recent, uh, recently is uh, work on my scalp, getting a healthy scalp. Um, Cause I know that's kind of like, you know, obviously the root um, and it starts there and it like works its way down. And so one of the things I purchased, um, I did recently just have, just finished the JVN, um, scalp oil and that was really nice and I really did like it um but I just decided to try something else um that was a little bit cheaper and see if it it was also worth it so it had good good reviews on Ulta so I decided to give it a try this is the Pacifica Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum Purify and Revive um I've only used it once so I really can't say anything to it right now but um yeah, I'm just kind of on this hair journey, trying to find hair products that, that work for my hair. Um, but I'm sure one of the solutions to my hair problems is to stop heat styling it, but that's really a struggle for me. But um, when I was at Ulta um, buying that scalp serum, I also picked up a couple About Face products, which never tried anything from this brand. Um, I've seen a couple of the, specifically the like, liquid eyeshadows used online. I've seen the matte colors, like the bright green, um, which are gorgeous. They're just 
not shades I normally wear um, and to spend money on them seems silly for me because I just I know I won't wear them maybe once and then you know anyway um, but I did see this one um, it's one of the like shimmery ones but it's the eye paint eyeshadow in the well, it says smolder and then fractal I'm not sure which is the actual um, like shade name again I could look this up but um, I have no experience here, so don't blame me. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, it's just like this beautiful kind of like pinky um, champagne-y like shimmer. And it's really, really nice. And it's really nice on the eyes. Like It doesn't um, crease. Obviously, over time it will, but um, like it lasts and it's really nice. And like the shimmer stays, which is, which is awesome. And then I also picked up um, the Lip Color Butter Cherry Pick in the shade Cherry Good. Um, but this is kind of like the same type of formula as like a Tarte uh, Maracuja lip, like the Juicy Lips. Um, I have a couple of those and those are really nice, but I feel like it's a very similar formula in the sense that it's like that kind of click up pen and you can't click it back down and it's like very smooth and very um, like easy transfer kind of thing. But um, so far this is really nice. The only thing is again, like I don't know why I keep buying red shades. I love the red. I just feel like on me, these darker shades look weird because of my lip line. Maybe that's just me being self-conscious, but what are you gonna do? Um, I will wear this though at my house probably, but it is really nice. I've tried it on, felt really nice. Um, definitely will like transfer. It's not gonna dry down or anything, but it's so far so good. Um, and the last three products, um, once again, were influenced by Emily Noel because that she just gets me. Um, but she was talking about the end cosmetics. She was specifically talking about the sticks. Uh, well, I did actually see a video too, where she was talking about the serum blushes, but, um, I decided to finally bite the bullet and buy something cause I've seen them for years. And what has gotten me would, would always be these like serum blushes. Like I really wanted to try one. And then she started talking about the sticks and I've gotten much more into bronzer lately. Like bronzer used to be kind of like, a, okay, like I like it, but now I'm like, give me all the bronzer. Um, so I decided to pick up three different products from them while I was doing an order. So the first one, I got the So Soft um, like bronze stick in the shade Summer. And um, as I don't know if you can actually tell, I've used, <laughs> used it a little bit now. And it's really nice. Like Emily was not wrong. They are so smooth, so nice. They blend so easily, um, just gorgeous. I, I really like this one and I think the shade works well for me. I'm sure there's other shades that possibly would work for me as well. Um, but that one's really nice and I really like it. Um, I also got like one of the So Soft blushes, blush sticks. I got the shade Venetian Rose. And this is also really nice. I haven't used this one as much because I have a lot more blushes than I do bronzers because I do love blush. I just like a lot of things clearly. Um, but this is really gorgeous. Just like kind of a, a nice like uh, rosy neutral color. And then um, the last thing I got was the Color Drop Serum Blush in Soft Amethyst. Um, I wanted to try to get something a little different. So I went more of like a kind of berry shade as opposed to doing my typical like pinky pinky nudes or like roses. Um, and this is also really lovely. I don't really remember like the staying power on these two, like the blush stick and then the blush serum. Um, cause I've worn these less than some other ones, but this does have a lot of staying power. I'm still wearing it. And I feel like you can definitely still see like some of the bronze that I'm wearing. Um, so that's really nice. Cause again, I've been wearing my makeup a long time. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> so um, it's nice when a product will last and doesn't necessarily look too too bad at the end of the day. So, um, but that is everything. I uh, just kind of wanted to give you a little show and tell of what I've purchased lately. And then maybe that'll give you a little bit more of an idea about me, what I like. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd love to just kind of like jump into this space and talk about whatever and nothing and and all the things and um you know just kind of like whatever i don't know whatever's going on that day i guess um i'd love to find a group to talk about you know not necessarily like weight loss surgery but um you know weight loss in general like body positivity i don't um i don't want to say 
too much about it because I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to like push the fact that like, oh, you need to get this surgery, but that's not what I think at all. I think that um, you know what's best for you. And if, if that's something you want to consider, I think that's great. But if it's something you, you don't, then that's great too. Um, ultimately, we, we all know like what we need, what our bodies need. Um, and that was definitely something I needed, uh, realizing that, especially now after the fact. Um, and so it'd be great to be able to talk to people about it. And I, you know, this is something I want to maintain and keep going. And I think the only way to do that is, is to, you know, discuss it with other people, um, you know, have people of like mind. So I'm not just sitting there thinking about pizza all the time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it's nice to always kind of have like people to bounce stuff off of or, or to, to discuss things with, or even simple things like just like sharing recipes, you know, um, just as basic as that. And like having the type of community there. But again, I mean, don't want to limit myself to just that. I'd love to be able to bring makeup into it. Um, I'm a big shopper. So like, give me all the haul videos. I would love to like do some of those as well, just like this one. But yeah, I, um, I hope this wasn't too boring for anybody and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to subscribe and like, and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to say to like get the things, but not that I need them. Just more, I think I wanted to put myself outside my own box and um, push some of my own boundaries safely. And yeah, so, um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And um, hopefully I'll see you sometime soon.